What's up, everybody, and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. A lot of things happen on the show tonight, so let's kick it off with Daniel Bryan going one on one against Christian with Money in the Bank this Sunday. They put on a great match tonight with Daniel Bryan still on a hot streak, which is pretty much now the odds on favorite to win Money in the Bank this Sunday, picking up the win over Christian with the Yes Lock beating him. Really great match. I almost thought Christian had it, but uh, I really did enjoy the match, though. So. Good match with our uh, Christian and Daniel Bryan. Uh, also tonight, Jey Uso went against Seth Rollins because this Sunday the tag team titles will be on the line. Rollins and Reigns versus the Usos. Pretty much Seth Rollins picked over the win on Jey Uso with that knee or that stomp kick down to the head, I believe it is. So he won by that. Jericho went one on one with um, Curtis Axel tonight. Chris Jericho pretty much picked up the win, hitting a cold, cold breaker and Curtis Axel, resulting in a 10 count out. So Jericho won by count out, giving him more momentum. The second time he's beat Curtis Axel, uh, whatever, if Curtis Axel have had a winning streak, never he beat your place in the first place. But uh, Jericho pretty much picked up the win, and then pretty much Axel just kind of went crazy, started breaking everything in front of the ring, very pissed at everything because he lost. So. He pretty much was pissed and broke everything as Paul Heyman tried to calm him down and everything. So, I don't know if he's going to ask him, will he lose the Intercontinental title this Sunday? Ryback went against the Miz. Miz worked on Ryback's knee ass. I don't know where they're going with Ryback. Ryback is just stuck in limbo right now. And he's supposed to be this coward-like crybaby thing now. And Miz kept going on his leg. And... Ryback says, I think it popped, I think it popped, but he tricked Miz, even though his leg was still hurting, he hit him with the meat hook, and hit him with a shell shock and one. I don't know, Ryback is stuck. Ryback is just stuck in a place right now where, I don't think they're putting him anywhere at this point, but, um, they need to get something with Ryback, because his character is really losing its edge right now. And is he going to defeat Chris Jericho this Sunday Money in the Bank? My I'd say no, that Chris Jericho is pretty much pick up the win over Ryback. Probably bearing Ryback even more. For the first time ever on SmackDown, a contract signing between the Divas Championship, or Divas Championship, and it's Biggie Langston, Teddy Long, and the rest of the WWE Divas are out there for the contract signing. Of AJ versus Kalen, which is kind of start sorry, out stupid as first. Pretty much talking about the tricks they done over the past couple of weeks on the show. Until pretty much Kalen says enough of the tricks and everything. She's gonna prove that AJ's a psychopath, and AJ used text messages against her, which didn't make any sense. So the other WWE divas will try and attack it in, but Caitlyn pretty much. You know, talking, calling AJ a psychopath, and AJ slapped her, and then Kaylin knocked the table, and AJ into the turnbuckle. Biggie Langston tried to pull off. Kaylin slapped Biggie Langston, and then hit a spear on AJ, which was a better type of contract sign. As far as the rest of the Divas didn't break out in the white late this day most of the time, but it's probably going to be a heel turn from Layla this Sunday. Screw over Kaylin and probably lose the title, so she can go out and tie probably some crazy feud with. Layla and Caitlin in on on the show. Wade Barrett went against Fandango, Zeb Coulter, and Tony Cesaro and Jack Swagger out there. To the road scholars then came out and pretty much I guess it was a distract and Fandango won by a roll up. But I don't see what this gained anybody. Nobody didn't like they gained anything. That's why Dean Ambrose wasn't out there, but really they just arguing. Nobody never actually gained anything of what's happening. They've really been paying attention to the. World Heavyweight Money in the Bank match that much and what's going to happen now. I need to pay more attention to that. Del Rio went against um, Sin Cara, which Sin Cara is very different because Taylor told Ziggler not to interfere, not anybody interfere in anybody's match. But Sin Cara pretty much came up, attacked, and beat up Alberto Del Rio and zigzagged him then. Pretty much it was Ziggler because no one Ziggler. Sankara's not that tall, Sankara's not that white, and 
Sing car do Dol you keep see Dolph Ziggler's head in the back of the mask. It was that obvious. It didn't look at first, but looking a little and see how tall he was. It was an obvious way to know. Sheamus versus Randy Orton. Pretty much as the match went on, Daniel Bryan came out again and got the ladder and knocked down Orton and Sheamus trying to climb for the briefcase, which Sheamus stopped him and tried to throw him out, but Sheamus went in on for the tried to go for the briefcase. Then Christian then came out and attacked him. So, um pretty much they were trying to fight to get to the briefcase then, but uh Daniel Bryan it took down um over Christian and took out Sheamus and Daniel Bryan took out Christian and pretty much Daniel Bryan was about to grab it but Randy Orton got in RKO'd Daniel Bryan and climbed the briefcase so they really did build a block with all star money to make a match this Sunday since Kane has been taken out because of last Monday with the Wyatt family there's now only six people in the money in the bank match or maybe if Bucky, they'll replace Kane this Sunday but we'll see what happens once again, you know, it's me, it's me, it's Double Go D. Come here to news and reviews. Comment, subscribe, and watch out for the Money in the Bank live reaction this Sunday. I'm out of here. Peace.